What is going on, everybody? It's your boy GS, and it is early. It is 3.14 in the morning. How is my controller about to die? All right. We got to plug this bad boy in. Uh, okay, so super late in the morning. If you guys missed the video of my gauntlet packs and all the stuff that I opened, link to that is in the description. Feel free to click that bad boy and check that out. So uh, a lot of things we need to do. And uh, a lot of things we need to do with uh, a lot of things in mind. So first and foremost, we want to get rid of all the elite cards that we have that we're not keeping. And out of all the elites that I pulled, there's nobody I'm, I'm keeping. Let's get rid of this Dawkins collectible because this bad boy was going for like 28k, 26k. Now it's up to 31. So we're going to go on ahead and put this up for 29k. I like to put just a, a, a little bit of a difference. So we're going to put this up for 29. Kind of like good karma, man. I know it's not much of a difference, but, you know, uh, when you're looking to buy a card and the, the card you want, the cheapest is, you know, 3000 and somebody undercuts that, you don't want it to be 29 Even if it's 26 you know, shave a little something off, you know? Okay, so we have two Doug Baldwins, different chemistries, though. So one should be more expensive than the other. This one right here is going for 67 so we'll go 6.5 now um a lot of people were asking me uh if i was gonna do the um the verticals i mean not the verticals the chemistry sets i just don't have enough cards to be able to do that i might be able to knock some out as far as tier ones but as far as tier twos there's just no i just don't have enough cards you know it, it would dang it i'm over here speaking i forgot how much it went for there's just not enough cards for me to go on ahead and uh do that and contracts are limited like you really have to be smart on doing something very very lengthy like none of those things are going to reward contracts and 72 of them that's uh, quite a bit that's definitely quite a bit so i'm gonna put this up for 12 7, 5. like i can probably just off of the team i have now uh let me see I'm sure I can bang out just a, a handful of uh, tier ones. Let me see, are any of them playable? Okay, like I can do bruising back. I can do deep threat. You know, that's uh, 5K right there. Well, no, not even, because that's two. That's almost 3K if you finish both of them. And pick special. See, that's that's like about it. And I don't have, like on Xbox, it was easy, because one, I had the coins to buy any card I needed and sell it right back. But majority of the cards... I already had since I had 900 items in my item binder and I had a bunch of cards I was just able to use <coughs> specifically for that purpose but let's go back to elite okay let's go newest and again hopefully some of these bad boys sell let's take a look at Hayward come on go for, go for more than five ah 4.3 see like that right there is too much of a drastic undercut I understand you know, like I said, shave a little off, but that right there is like, ah, dang. Making it tougher on me, man. Now I have to undercut minimal because your undercut was drastic. Okay, we have Big Clay. One for 5K, and the next one is 7. So when it's drastic like that, then I undercut at the pure minimum. Baron. Now this right here was a card I was considering keeping, but uh, to me it just <coughs> <coughs> makes sense just to you know sell them. Let's get my coins. Let's go ahead and put him up there for. Since uh, this might look like a popular card, you know, by popular demand, hopefully you know this card to sell. But we'll put him up there for fifty flat. And then okay, that's it. So now we have to try and and maximize our revenue as much as possible what is it worth more is it worth more uh, if this was just my only console that's it i didn't do anything else but play playstation then i would sit here <coughs> excuse me and i will put up each and every single card but oh 12k i'll take it but since i don't i need to get as much coins as possible in as little time so, uh, in order to do that, you know, I have to do the sets where 
obviously I would probably make more coins selling the silver cards, selling the bronze cards, nickel and diming my way. But uh, I don't play often. Like if I played and I was on this console every single day, then yeah, because I would be checking at least three, four times a day to check my auction, continuously keep putting cards up. I'm on here once, maybe twice a week, so it doesn't make sense for me to nickel and dime my way. I'm not just going ahead and put those into sets and badges, and hopefully we get lucky. 15, all right, we're getting lucky right here with these good golds. So we're going to put this one up here for about 13, 5. Alright, before I put anything into sets, I want to make sure if anything's expensive, like this Delaney Walker's 8K, 8.6. So we'll put him up there for, let's see if we can get rid of him for a smooth 8. Okay, next we have P. Smith. And I already have one on the auction block for 11. So this one we're going to put at 10.75. If a card is going for less than 2k, then I'll just put it in a bad set. Like, obviously, I want to check my heavy hitters, my highest overall cards first to see if I can go ahead and get good value out of them. <coughs> like, this is 2k. You know, if I can get 2k for it, then I would gladly take it. Because it takes five gold cards in order to do the bad set. So, um,. You know, I wouldn't want to put 10K in there to get, you know, two silver bags that goes for 800 coins each. This bad boy is going for 3.4. I would take it. Put him up there for about 3.2. All right, I like seeing those notifications, man. Hopefully, they mean some cards are selling. Uh, Peter's now is where we're going to start to get, you know, cheaper like a thousand, I'll just put these in the bad sets. Let me check this. This card, I'll explain this card. I didn't pull this card. And you guys know any card I get, I have to uh, either earn or do solos. But I, when I was streaming, somebody had wanted to give me a 91 Gronkowski. And I was like, I appreciate it. But, you know, on Budget Squad, I just can't take a card. That's that's not That defeats the purpose of this. You know, uh, the purpose of these videos... And this series is to try and build a team only off of what I earn. And just because I'm a YouTuber or streamer, uh, you know, I get offered cards quite often. You know, cards or players and uh, or coins, I should say. And, you know, regular, you know, little Alex doesn't get offered a 91 Gronkowski because he's not a streamer. He's not a YouTuber. There's nobody that's going to offer him something like that. So that card is 200K. That's not, you know, I, just defeats the purpose of that, of you giving me a 200K card. And I was like, if you give it to me, I'll donate it. Uh, I'll, I'll give it away. And uh, he was like, that's fine. Like, I'm done with Mutt. This is my last expensive card. I want to give it to you. So he gave me the 91 Gronkowski, and we ended up doing a giveaway. And the person traded me this door set to receive the 91 Gronkowski. That's how I got that card. Okay, so everything else, I'm not even going to check all this lower tier stuff. Can I do anything with this? Oh, you need five of those though, right? Uh, yeah, I think you need five of these in order to... Uh... Let me check, because <laughs> on, on the Xbox, I probably just would have did it just to see, but these are 100 coins a piece. So I'm probably better off just uh, quick selling them instead of, you know, doing that. Um... These, can I put these into anything? Oh, yeah, this right here, I believe, gives me the uh, the Philip Rivers. But what I think I'm going to do, because Philip Rivers is only going for like 20K, I think I can hold on to these and just use them for next month, right? If I'm not mistaken? Gauntlet Collectible, right? Are these specifically for November? Eighty-eight, Joe Hayden. What? Why is it saying Joe Hayden? The hell? Hmm. 
You know what? Saving it a month doesn't help me out. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put these bad boys in there. I forgot I had these. Yeah, I probably could have just saved them for next month, but... I'm going to need this 20k from Phillip Rivers now. And this right here, I can't do anything with. I'm not going to do Mutt Master or anything like that. There's no way in hell. So I will actually quick sell this and get my coins. Now, Phillip Rivers actually looks like a really, really good card. But I have in mind of a, of a different quarterback I want it. Now, uh, the Stafford is, is a pretty good card. But there's definitely other value uh, that I feel like I can get. First, I got to see how much Stafford is going for. I said 20. Damn, this card went way down. Okay, I should have just held on to it. I should have checked first. I should have held on to those collectibles, I mean. But, dang, 8K. Yeah, you want to talk about good value. You don't need another quarterback besides Philip Rivers. Okay, first, let's go ahead and take a look to see how much Stafford is worth. And if I feel like I can, again, a situation with 89 Barry and 90 McCourty, if I feel like I can get an upgrade for less coins and actually make coins and profit off of upgrading, then I'm all for that. So let's see how much Stafford is going for. Okay, he's going for 32. So uh, we'll put him on the auction block. See if we can sell him. For solid 29. Okay, I think that's everything that I need on the auction block. Oh, this card I can't do anything with. Can't do anything with this card. What are the sets I can put them to? Elite upgrade, 87 overall. But I think you need... Okay, now we're just going to do the bad sets, and we're going to hope to go on ahead and, and uh, get lucky. Uh, also, before, one thing for sure, the two players that I definitely want different positions are for sure my outside linebackers. They're going to have to settle for what I had at the time, and what I had at the time was, uh, you know, a handful of coins, but there was no gauntlet at the time. There was no none of that, so there was no... Uh, way for me to make a, a 100k doing solo so I had to try and invest in and get good players at the time and uh, Suggs and Green are definitely uh, players that can do well but I, I definitely can do better as far as upgrading and at this point my team is pretty good at this point it's pretty good so in order for like I can no longer do cheap upgrades you know besides Phillip Rivers going for 8K. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to get a 90 overall car for 8, 9K. You know, like the upgrades I'm going to get from here on out are going to be expensive because, you know, I got pretty good cards. Uh, but I definitely want to get rid of Kevin Green for sure, for sure. Uh, so I'm going to see how much he's going for and see if I go ahead and sell him. As though we sell Phillip Rivers and we sell a few of those gold cards. Okay. Okay, so we're going to go on ahead. Kevin Green, for sure, 100% I want to get rid of. Uh, definitely seems like a beast. I played a handful of games with him and seemed okay, but he's just too slow. He's just too slow. But again, I had to settle for what I could get. I need a block shedding on my outside. I need a play rec. He was able to offer that. He's just too slow. Now that I have coins... I feel like I can go on ahead and get uh, an outside linebacker with more speed. And let's see how much Suggs. Suggs is definitely really, really, really slow. And Suggs is going for 39k. So we're going to sell him for 36. I mean, even if I upgrade just my outside linebackers, I'm, I'm fine with that. You know, if I get good players that I really, really want. Like, I would love to see if I can get 92 Von Miller and Puzzle Clowney. If I can somehow manage to get those two guys, then, you know, I'm whew, beyond super satisfied. And I feel like that takes my linebackers to, like, the next level where I feel like I can compete against damn near any team out there. Because that Puzzle Clowney is really, really good. And so is the 92 Von. Uh, let's go to earn badges here. And... 
Uh, what I like to do is, you know, get badges for my players. If I feel like they're not worth, obviously, anything that I feel like is is worth a good amount, I'm going to want to go on ahead and uh, sell. Now, bronze players, silver players, they all go for a decent amount, but they take a lot of time to sell. And, again, if this was primarily my console and I didn't have another console and this was, you know, my main focus, I would spend two, three hours a day just putting cards on the auction block just so I can, you know, sell 100 cards that go for 600 coins apiece. You know, because, I mean, you think about it, do the math. You know, if you sell 10 cards at 600 coins apiece, you know, that's uh, 6K. You know, and you times that by another 10, you know, you're looking at 60K of just selling 100 bronze cards for 600 coins, which I probably have. But the problem is, is that they take a while to sell. You can put an, a bronze card up there for, you know, 600 coins, and that may be the cheapest one, and it may take seven hours to sell, you know, because nobody's looking for a bronze card for upgrades. That's like a set specific thing. So, you know, those cards take a while to sell. And since this isn't my main console, I'm going to go on ahead and just do badge sets and just try and compile as many elite badges as I can. If I can pull four to five elite badges out of all this, then I'm, I'm happy because that's 120 some odd K added to what it is I already have. So that right there could give me over 300 K and I should be able to get Von Miller, Clowney, and possibly something else. Now, I know I need a quarterback, and I want to look to see how much that 90 once is going for. Now, the big upgrade on these are the gold ones, because that's a guaranteed silver badge. Now, um, that's better because a lot of people are like, what? You get two badges. I like the 10 badge packs better. 10 badge packs were by far worse. Now, they were worse because 97% of the time, you got 10 bronze badges, right? 10 bronze badges is the exact same thing as two silver badges. But with the silver being a minimum, I am pulling way more gold badges than I ever was out of a 10 badge pack. I've opened up over, <coughs> <coughs> I think one time, I opened up close to like 110 badge packs. It was crazy. I think I pulled like 98 10 badge packs. Like, uh, it was like something ridiculous, like, uh, another 55 bad. I had like 1,200 badges. And I pulled like 20 golds out of all that. And like three elites. It was crazy. But now that the silvers are the minimum out of those, you know, I've pulled, you know, 20 badge. I pulled 20 golds out of pulling, you know, less than 30 of the two badge packs. You know, so they're definitely worth more. You know, you get more value out of them. Okay, so the way I like to try and build a team is when, when it comes to building a squad, right? And your coins are limited. You have to build one. You have to build for a scheme around you, right? A lot of people ask me, like I'll be streaming or like in a comment section, GS, take a look at my team. Tell me what it is I need. What can I upgrade? And it's like, I, I can't do that because I don't know what type of player you are. Different players need different things. Like, for me, a pass-blocking tight end, I mean, a run-blocking tight end is key. I cannot play games without run-blocking tight ends because I run the ball a lot. And I'm heavily reliant on being able to block. But if you don't run the ball and all you do is pass shotgun five wide, then why would you go get yourself a, um, you know, a Delaney Walker? There's no need to go get signature Delaney. Why would you spend all those coins on somebody who doesn't really fit your game plan when you can get 90 Shockey, who does exactly what you need him to do for way less? You know, so first things first, you need to understand the type of player you are. You need to understand what do you do to have success in Madden? Some people are really, really good at running the ball. Some people are really good at passing the ball. Some people are really good at, you know, run defense, really good at blitzing, really good at, 
you know, certain things. So you have to build a scheme around, I mean, you have to build a team around your scheme. Me, it all starts with the run. Has to start with the run. I need to, I need to build my way inside first, then outside. Got to start with the run. And then after that, once you get to a point where it's like, okay, this team fits my scheme. Then you want to upgrade, right? You want to casually upgrade. You want to get players that do what you need them to do, but better. There's a better run blocking tight end out there that costs a little bit more than the guy I already have. Okay, let me go get him. And then once you start upgrading little by little, then you need to go on ahead and try and get guys that are <coughs> are really, really, really good at stopping what other people do. Uh now, like, what I mean, like, the upgrades I'm going to do, what, 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 what can I not put, um, Crowell in the set? Why is it not on me? I don't know. But, like, Kevin Green is good, but he's too slow. 92 Von Miller is going to help me do a lot of things. I can blitz him. He's going to help me do really good on the run. And he's just, and he, he's an animal. He's really expensive. But he's the type of player that you need to aim to get, you know, and he's going to last a long time. 92 Von Miller, I can have on this team <clears throat> for the next three months and not really need anybody because he's that good. He's that good. Yeah, 94 Von Miller is good. You know, there's going to be, you know, Kendricks. That's really good. There's other options. But for the, like, 92, Von Miller is that dynamic of a player where he's going to last, you know, quite a long time. And those are the type of players that I definitely prefer and, uh, you know, try and get. Players like that that I know, like, okay, this guy's going to be an animal for a while. And I feel like, uh, like Puzzle Clowny is another one. Like, if you had him... For this whole time, his value still holds. He still is one of the highest block shedding, you know, guys in the game. You just want to be able to uh, provide yourself with wins for the low. You know, <coughs> what players can perform for you that are obtainable? You know, like I was thinking about getting... Uh, uh, a quarterback because I was playing the solo challenges for the gauntlet and I was streaming and uh, Matthew Stafford was overthrowing so many passes to the point where I got upset and I was like okay he has to go like he's just missing way too many throws and I haven't really played that much with him but for the most part you know he did pretty good for me but still it's like okay the way he's overthrowing things there's no way I refuse and somebody's gonna suggest hey you should get 93 Donovan McNabb he throws dots and I'm like, are you really going to suggest me that one of the highest overall players at that position does good? It's like, I don't need to know that. You Like, that's not a secret that the highest overall player at that position is pretty good. Obviously, Donovan McNabb is a monster, but I can't afford him. <clears throat> you know, I have to try and play with guys I can I can afford. Okay, do I have one more? Okay, Crow doesn't go for whatever reason. How about okay, you know? There we go. As Hayward ends up selling. So we're at two seventeen. Okay, now we're at the gold players trading. Now this is where we want to go on ahead and, and have luck. Hopefully some of these bad boys can turn into uh some elite badges and whatnot. So now uh, again, I'm very satisfied with my team, but then again, you know, I, I'm, I try to upgrade whenever I can, you know, and whenever I do upgrade, I want to feel like the upgrade is, you know, it's, it's, it's worth it. And now I got my team to a point where again, every upgrade is no longer tedious upgrades. You know, I'm not going from a, a 83 overall gold player to an 85 overall elite. Now all my players are elites. And now it's like all the upgrades are like they're exp they're getting expensive now. So, <clears throat> gotta still try your best to find value in this game of players that can perform for you for the low. Now, what I feel like help gives me an edge 
over somebody who doesn't have, you know, or play with the best players, is that I'm able to look at attributes and try and compare from how I see them play <coughs> from my team on the Xbox. Like, for example, I know how fast 92 speed is because I play with Randy, you know, I have Randy Moss. So I know how fast that is. You know, I, you know, uh, I know how 95 hit power plays. I know if somebody has 90 play rec, I feel like I have an idea of what that type of play rec does because I've played with somebody like that. So, you know, if Brian Dawkins has 90 play rec, but obviously I can't afford that card, but I'm looking for, you know, a cheaper substitute because I have a budget, but I see this guy with 87 speed, 87 play rec, 91 hit power, and it's like, okay, okay, his play rec is three less than Dawkins, his speed is two less, his block shed is five less, but, you know, everything is somewhat around the same. It's not that much of a difference. You know, maybe I can go on ahead and do well with these guys because I, I know what those attributes look like, if it makes sense, if you understand what I'm saying. <coughs> okay. We'll put in that door set as well. I think uh, I just need one more gold card, man. You won't let me put in. Okay, there we go. Okay, now it's the teams trading. Okay, do we have a bunch of these? Eh, not many. But hey, I'll take as many badges as I can get. And again, if you guys have watched the previous episodes, you guys know, uh, you know, it's just all about trying to convert these badges into elite badges. Again, out of all this, the goal, I mean, it, it would be amazing if we can somehow string together four elite badges. That's what I want to do. I want to get at least 100K. Clean after taxes. <coughs> Excuse me, I need something to drink. My goal is to, you know, try and get 100K of elite badges. Look at that, perfect, 15. Okay, there we go, and we're all done. All our players are good. We got a nice small item binder of 87 items. Let me go on ahead and see if I got any heavy hitters on the auction block still. Okay, I still got this Dawkins collectible. Still got Baron, Smith, Stafford, Green, Suggs. Oh, yeah, we got some heavy hitters, man. We definitely got some heavy hitters out there. Okay, so uh, bronze player, silver, gold. Let's do this right here. <coughs> Again, I'm just going to, you know, spam square. No need to really try and pay attention to, you know, see what they are. We just want to hurry up and get this done as fast as possible. Now, the bronze player trade-in is, you know, mostly going to be a lot of bronze badges. May be able to get a silver every now and then. Um, pulling a gold player out of this is, I mean, a gold badge out of this is <coughs> not very likely. But, uh, you know, hey, I've been able to pull elite badges out of one badge pack. So, <laughs> hopefully we can uh, just get good value in silver badges. You know, silver and gold badges. Because it takes 25 silver badges in order to get one elite badge. 25 silvers condense into 5 golds. 5 golds go into one elite badge. So, um, mainly I'm just looking, you know, for silvers. Because I know bronze badges are very, obviously, the most common thing. Gold and elite badges are not common at all. Very, very minuscule. You'll pull those. <coughs> so, okay, let's just good. Let's just get good values. Uh, silver value. Hey, we got a gold badge though. I will take it. Let's go. Okay. Hey, two silvers. Kevin Green just sold. Let's go. Okay, so we have eight more of these. So far, to all those, one gold badge. 
but hey, four silvers. Let's go. That's almost one gold badge, man. I will take it. <coughs> Them bad boys are going to turn into elite badges, man. Again, if we can get four elite badges out of these, we are beyond stoked. Then that means all the solos we did was worth over, you know, 200k, close to like 300k. Because I got just like over 100k coins you get for that, the, um, the, uh, the coins you get from the solos. Then you have, you know, the elite players I pulled, which I sold. Um, hey, gold badge, let's go. You know, Baron alone was 50k. Another gold badge. Let's keep these going. Let's keep these golds going, baby. <coughs> How many more silver packs? All right, 13 of these bad boys. Oh, man. I'll be super excited if I can pull an elite badge. Okay. So now I also need to to uh, uh, take a look. I need. Hey, let's go. I need a backup running back. I need outside linebackers, and I need a corner. Definitely need a corner as well. But corners are like really expensive. Like the good ones, anyways, are really, really, really expensive. As they as they should be. Come on, baby. What are my lead badges at, man? Let me get one. Like, let your boy pull one of them. Hey, Stafford sold. Okay. So now we have 10 uh, badge packs with a guaranteed silver badge or better as we got a gold badge. Let's go. Another gold badge. Whoo, three gold badges in a row. Ah, oh, dang it, we're not going to be able to pull an elite badge, but we'll be able to make some, though. Especially if we keep pulling these gold badges, man. Let's go. Keep these, keep these gold badges showing up. I love it. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Let me get two gold badges in one pack. Why don't we do that? Okay, last pack here. Another gold badge. Okay. Let's take a look at uh, what we have. Okay, so we're going to go program, badge. We're going to go quality. So 15 gold, that's three elite badges right there. Uh, 65 bronzes, so that's 10. That's 13, I believe, right? That's 13 silver badges. That's basically 50 silver so that's two 50 silvers is two elite badges 15 golds is three elite badges so i'm able to get five elite badges out of all those cards five so that's should hopefully be a clean 120k for me clean Which I will gladly, gladly take in a harpy. So that right there should put us at about 400k. 400k, I can go on ahead and get like one mega upgrade. You know, I can go on ahead and get, you know, uh, a very, very big player. But again, it doesn't make sense to do something like that when you can, like, why upgrade one position when you can go on ahead and upgrade five, you know, like, uh, not one card in the game is worth being on a bad team. I don't care how good the card is. Do not care how good the card is. I don't care if it's day one of release and you somehow get yourself on a golden ticket style card that you know might dominate. But it's like, okay, I got this golden ticket card. That's going to dominate for me. But everybody else is terrible. <laughs> I could sell this one card. 
and get a very good team all the way around. You know, like not don't ever let one card, you know, uh, have you think it's worth the uh, entirety of a mediocre team because it's not. Like when I was pulling packs for Dez, there was like if you pulled ninety three Dez, would you keep it? Hell no. There's no point. Why? Why would I do that? Obviously, he's a beast, but you do you know what I can get for him? I could sell him and get a whole new defensive line, new linebackers, a new running back, a new quarterback. Okay. Now, right here, we're trying to go on ahead and get ourselves a bunch of... bunch of gold badges the more the merrier because hey these bad boys turn into elites man I'm about to have 400k bruh and I still have Baron on the auction block yeah I'm gonna have over 400k and I'm just upgrading three positions so if I break it down I have about 133k to spend on each position because all I wanted to do was get a, you know, outside linebackers. And, uh, shoot, one more equals a gold badge. I'll buy it if I'm, like, one gold badge short of an elite badge. If I'm one gold badge short of an elite badge, then I'll, I'll do it. One. Two. I know I can make five guaranteed. I don't think I can make six. So, uh, these are the type of ones after this one. I'm going to my item binder because if I have two gold badges, it doesn't make sense for me to put them in a set when I can sell those two gold badges because, you know, it's going to be a while before I can get my hands on three more gold badges. Okay. Let's take a look at how many gold badges we have. Oh, none. We don't have any gold badges left. Okay. These are going for 24k a pop. Are you kidding me? Oh, put these up, put them up, put them up, put them up. Please sell. Please sell, like right away. I'm going to put two of them up at a time. I'm hoping they sell. Man, I thought that notification was for the bad selling. Okay, so those are my two right there. Hopefully they sell after, what, 10% is, what, 2,400? So that would give me, let me see, 24,000. Take away 2K, that's 22. Take away, what I say, 600? That's what, is that 21.4 after taxes? Did I do that right? I don't know. Listen, it's over 20K, that much I know. So hopefully those bad boys sell. Okay, right now, the cards that I have on the auction block taking a little too long to sell. They haven't sold already, so I'm pretty sure I've been undercut. No, I still have the cheapest Dawkins, but this guy went ahead and, let me see, that's been up for 36 minutes. Mine's been up, yeah, so, you know, I went ahead and undercut by a good amount, and he didn't want to undercut me. So he just put it once mine sell his is the cheapest. So just put even though mine's are the cheapest, we'll put it just a little bit cheaper. I just don't like to be that close to somebody's auction, man. Okay, where's this bearing? I'll put mine up for 50k. And now somebody else has them up for 50k. So mine's is still the cheapest. So we're hoping that right there sells. And I think that's it, right? I don't really think I have anything else. I definitely want a new strong safety too. Cam is a little slow. Cam is a beast. He really is. But again, I had to get with what I could afford. And what I could afford was, you know, Cam who... Uh, Obviously offers some really good things, but he's just too slow. 
So I'll probably be able to sell Cam too. Look at that undercut by three already, dude. By three already. I'm not gonna let one K. I'm not gonna let one point two K. You know how long I would have to probably wait for five badges to sell before mines get there. So we'll go twenty two five. Right here we'll go 22.5 as well. Let's see what we just go for. Let me see how many mud tips I got. I have 15. I think that's enough for one pro pack. If I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken, there's one pro pack. Hey, man, I might be able to pull a Dez, man. You never know. Yeah, what's that? What was it for the November? Oh yeah, ten years. So I can quick sell those two. Uh... Oh look at that! I already had twenty three out of. Okay. So we got one pro pack here. Come on, baby. Let me get an elite. Let me get an elite. Let me get an elite. Shane Marine. Dang it. All right, we'll just add these in and just wait for. Okay. What was I going to look at over here? The hell did I come here for? I don't even remember. These cards are just not selling. Still 50. Again, it still bothers me. I don't know. I just see that. It's like the same as somebody else. Why? Like, why? And, and I put, and when I put mine up for 50K, the cheapest was 52. So some guys see me and didn't want to undercut. Just put it for the exact same price. Like, come on, man. Follow you. Okay, something sold. Well, I'm not sure. Badge, maybe? Yes, one badge sold. Let's go. Twenty two five, that's me. So we'll put another one up at twenty two five. Okay, something sold, and it wasn't a badge. Baron sold. Let's go. Okay, so I definitely have enough coins to start our shopping. So uh first things first man let's go on ahead and take a look at what quarterbacks we can get now we can finally get ourselves a 90 overall hey worst case scenario man i will get philip rivers for like 8k man you better ask somebody okay um oh no it's a qb So we got Rivers. Oh, I'm really liking Wentz. Only 35. Dang, I could get 91 cam. But nah, see, that's just... Okay. 
Okay, let me see what uh see what this lens is looking like. 82 speed, 91 throw power, 89 medium, 87 play action, 85 deep. Okay. I'm never going to be able to fill out any of those chemistry, so. I can get 92 A-Rod with the conductor and throw hot ones all day long. I can throw hot ones with that A-Rod all day long, bruh. Okay, let's actually take a look at this Rivers. 86 deep. Good short and medium. I just don't like that deep of 86. And even though I say that and I look at Wentz's deep, and Wentz's deep is 85. But he has 82 speed, though. He has really good speed. Rodgers has a deep, what, 89? Just walk 85 deep. This is Mariota looking like 84 deep, 90. Yeah, see, I just worry about that deep accuracy. Dirt car, 87 deep, 80, 90, 90. Just Drew Brees, I'm sure th we'll throw hot ones. What does this McNair look like again? 90 deep for McNair, but McNair was overthrowing a lot of out routes for me, which I really didn't like. Hmm. I have my mind set on getting Wentz. That's what I have my mind getting on. 91 throw power. Short is good. Medium is good. Just as deep is a little lackluster. That, 80, that 85 deep. Go with our gut. Let's get Wentz. Let's get Wentz. And let's be proud of that purchase. Let's be proud of this 90 Wentz. Okay. Now I need a left outside linebacker. Now I, I know I've seen Clowney going for like two something. But I mean. <laughs> Okay, we don't need Kevin Green. That 92 Vaughn. It's looking beastly. And I, I just feel like 92 Vaughn is, is the way to go. In my opinion. I mean, just look at everything he has. 85 speed, 92 block shed, 88 play rec, 90 hit power, 86 excel. He has good finesse move and power move. Everything is really, really, really good about this card. Take a look at right outside linebackers. Suggs is just too slow, man. We have Hightower, Sean Lee. I think <laughs> I I could get 93 Clowney in 92. I, I think I'm about to cry, bro. I think I'm about to cry. Again, whenever I get something on this console... You have no idea how amazing it feels because it was earned. I didn't sit there and just spend money and, and didn't have to work for it. You know, it's literally just given to you. There you go. Here's a bunch of cards that all have value put on the auction block. And by the way, three days from now, you're going to be able to get newer cards. And sometimes I get lucky and pull an expensive card. I can get 93 
Quad Chem Clowney, and 92 Von Miller. I don't, I don't, I mean, ah. 22.5, we'll put these up for 22K. I feel like I need to talk myself out of doing it. I don't know why. Because I'm, I'm going to need another cornerback too. Because as soon as I reset my lineup to go on ahead and uh, add the newer guys in, Josh Norman is gone. He's already gone. So I need one more cornerback. Okay, let's let's think rationally about this. 92 Clowney, I mean 93 Clowney, 92 Vaughn would be godlike. Let's be honest here. That would help me out so much. On being able to stop the run, attack the ball carriers. They're going to be able to cover a lot of ground. They're going to be able to do a lot of things. But you, I need a, I need a cornerback. It, you know, it does. It's not smart to go on ahead and get that Clowney. But I want him though, so bad. If I could get Clowney, Vaughn, and a, and a cornerback and call it a day, I would. I would. This Sean Lee may even get busy. I know he's got crazy, uh, crazy, um, block, I mean, uh, zone coverage. 87 speed, 94 block shed. But the puzzle one has 83 block. It's only one less block shed. One less block shed. Probably one more speed. Okay, let's take a look at. 87 speed, 88 play rec, 90. Okay, what it is I'm going to do is I'm going to take a Giazzo of it. Just so I know exactly what it is I'm looking at. Okay, now let's look at the puzzle, Clowney. Who's going to go for a lot less. Like the difference between the 94 Vaughn and the 92 Vaughn are minuscule. It's like plus one here, plus one there. Maybe plus two somewhere, but it's not much. Okay, let's just go straight to the Texans. Okay, Puzzle Clowney is 58K. So Puzzle Clowney is minus one speed. Minus one strength. Minus one acceleration. Minus uh, three tackle. Play rec is the big difference. There's the the big difference. Those so plus five play rec. Plus five play rec though. He has eighty eight on the ninety three overall. That's the that's the big difference. Block shed plus one. Pursuit is ninety uh ninety one, so that stays the same. Hip power ninety three. So a little bit more hip power, but that ninety his play rec over here is is eighty I mean uh his play rec is 83. 83 play rec. Compared to 88. Like, plus 5 play rec is pretty damn big. Obviously, this card is better. Um, shoot. Okay, one badge sold. Okay, both badges sold. I don't believe I have anything else to try and really sell that's like big. Okay, this Terrell Suggs. Damn it, this collectible. I'm going to just put up there for like 20k and let somebody just buy it. I'm impatient like that. <laughs> so yeah, I definitely need a cut. I want that clowny, and, and I didn't even think it was possible to get them until all these coins just started adding up. And now I'm looking at it, and now I'm like, wait a minute, it is possible. Tell me, there's not a single person trying to do this Dawkins set right now? Not a single one? 
in this whole damn world? Okay. I need a strong safety too. It just it just doesn't make sense to get the 93 clowny. As badly as I want them, I, I got to be smart here. Again, don't let one position get in the way of you upgrading, you know. I, instead of getting that beast clowny, I could get puzzle clowny, a cornerback, and a strong safety. You understand what I'm saying? As bad as I would love that clowny. Oh my goodness, I thought I put that Cromartie up there for that much, bruh. Woo, don't play with my emotions like that. Okay. Okay. So I think the smart thing to do, as bad as I would, oh, may, one day, one day, maybe next month I'll be able to get this clowny. With the new gauntlet that comes off, if this thing is monthly, next month I'll probably be able to get you. Ne I'll be back for you. Don't you worry. I will be back for you. I promise. I promise I'll be back for you. But we're going to get this clowning and be happy. We love this purchase right here. We absolutely love it. Speed. Block shed. Now we're going to go on ahead and get our 92 Vaughn. We don't get a 93 Clowny, but this 92 Vaughn is coming home. Oh, this 92 Vaughn is coming home, baby. Let's go. Let's go. And we still got 243K. <coughs> Let's get it. Okay, so right here we go Puzzle Clowny. And I got plans for you, Clowny. Oh, you're going to be screaming, bruh. And I got to get rid of Peppers, too. As much as I love Peppers, as tall as he is, playing the passing lanes and just as ginormous as he he's too slow for me to use her, man. He's just too slow. And I, I love his, his uh, ability to play the passing lanes. And he hawks a lot of things, but he's he's just too slow, man. And he doesn't go for much. 8.4. So I would need a middle linebacker. See, Keekly can stay there because Keekly's a monster. He's got good speed, good zone, good play rec. Do I upgrade two middle linebackers too? Do I get two new middle linebackers? Let me see. I probably could get like two brand new middle linebackers. And a strong safety. Cam is going for 15, 16K. Okay, let's take a look at middle linebackers. But I mean, worst case scenario, Kikli can stay right there though. If I don't, you know, if I'm not comfortable with who I see. I'm trying to get these 90 upgrades, man. Just let you know, I'm grinding. Trying to get these big boy upgrades. Yeah, I could get a Singletary and a Nishki. Singletary. Look at that, man. Block Shed, Pursuit, Hit Power. And he did great for me when I had him on my Xbox team. I mean, great for me. I just went with more speed with uh, Bobby Wagner. Nishki is just slow, though. I mean, faster than Peppers, but still slow. <sighs> you have no idea how much I would love an Erlacher. But, I mean... For here, all I really need is just speed. For the guy I use her, I just need speed. I just know that Singletary 
would be really, really, really good in, over Keekly because it's just a little bit more speed. Uh, play rec is similar, but more block shed, more pursuit, more hit power, more awareness. It's just Keekly, but a, it's just a dab better than Keekly. It's just a dab better. Two block shed, one pursuit, uh, two tackle, one awareness, two speed. It's just a faster version of Keekly. It's just me getting the same card, but everything just a little better. Okay. <clears throat> oh, I could rock this 86 overall Earl Lacker. 84 speed. All I need is speed for my user. Six foot four two. That Urlacher might be the move. Buchanan. Is it Buchanan glitchy? My lord. 88 speed, though. Bruh. Eighty eight speed. Yeah, yeah. Buchanan and Singletary. Bring that as here, boy. Okay, where's Keekly? Keekly's going for 65. Put on that for 60. 61. Okay, yeah, we're definitely getting that single Terry for sure. I should probably look into getting uniforms and uh, coaches that can help me get some chems. Team Cardinals. Uh, let me make sure there's no other version of him that I may want. Okay, that is his. Okay. 37K for 88 speed. That's all I need. I mean, I wish he was taller, though. He's six foot one, but still, we're going to cover a ton of ground with this card. Now we upgrade to a legend in Singletary. Eighty-six K. Let's get it. Let's get it. Hey, we making big boy moves over here, y'all. We making big boy moves. Look at our linebacking core now, man. Look at the linebacking core now. It's disgusting, man. It's beautiful. No, no. Peppers would have to be... Uh, I mean, not Peppers. Uh, Buchanan would have to be number two because I use her. The linebacker on the right side of the field. So that would be Buchanan. I'm loving it, y'all. I don't know about you guys, but I'm loving it. I'm, I'm loving it. And Young and um, Young and McPhee were doing really, really good for me in the games that I played. I, I would just like more speed from them, but their block shed, finesse move, par move is everything I needed to be. Now I need a cornerback. I need a cornerback and possibly a strong safety. But I can do without the strong safety for now. I 100% need a cornerback. And you know, good corners are going to be expensive. And that's what I want. I want a good corner. You know, like... Again, everything I get from here, I'm not going to be able to get anything cheap. So, all the upgrades are going to be, you know, pretty expensive. Let me see if there's any good value at 90 overall. Starts off at 100k. 
Hmm, could get Bailey. Cornerbacks are just so expensive. You know who looked really, really good? His team of the week card looked really oh it's 100k i thought it was going to be able to be it was going to be cheaper it's 100k for a reason this card i mean 91 speed six foot one 90 in both zone and man good agility just lacking press but everything else is pretty good i mean hey worst case scenario man i can use the free judge norman <laughs> I thought he was going to be like 70. If he was like 70K or something like that, I would have scooped him. But for that price, I can just get Bailey, you know. I wasn't a big fan of Bailey, but, you know, maybe he'll do better on the PS4 side for me. Okay, let's go ahead and do a comparison. So 91 speed, good man coverage, good zone. His pressage is really weak, though. But, I mean, everything else seems pretty good. You guys know I had my eye on this Rebus for a while. I've been wanting this Rebus for a while. I've been wanting that Rebus for so long. But the same way we bought expensive ass Sherman and DRC is I feel like you can get cheap value at wide receiver every position in the game. But when it comes to corners, you don't want to settle for less if you don't have to. You want to get the best players out there because pass coverage is key. You need good guys to, you know, try and stop these passes, man. Dang it. Oh, I could have Bailey for 108. He was 30. Oh, my goodness. If I seen that, I would have. I probably would have jumped on it so much sooner. That car was 30K cheaper. That little hesitation might have just cost me. Like, I don't want Sam Madison. Yeah, I'm, I'm. I'd rather have Bailey. Shoot, this is Maxwell looking like great press, great zone, good play wreck. Just not that many ninety overall cornerbacks in the game. It's only like seven of them. I thought there was more. <coughs> okay, we may have to try and get, uh, see if we can somehow get somebody to hold us down on this side of things. Okay, we got Vontae Davis. Vontae Davis. Uh, great press, zone man, great agility, but eh. Xavier Rhodes, 91 speed, 92 excel, but his zone and man is lacking. But it seems like he has the type of speed and agility to just jump stuff. Hmm, I'm really liking that Rhodes, man. Um, let's 
Let's see, look at that rose again. Going for 82k. Great speed. I don't have to worry about getting beat over the top. And that is something I lack with in Sherman is speed. You know, I don't got to worry about DRC getting beat over the top. Uh, I would actually probably move Sherman to the slot. And I feel like he'll do better in a slot because, you know, he'll get matched up against lower speed guys. Where Rhodes, with that speed, acceleration, and agility, him and DRC on the outside, I don't have to worry about getting beat over the top. Hmm. And he will have plus one uh, lockdown and pick specialist, so there'll be plus one man zone and press, so 94 press. Was 90, 87 man and 84 man coverage. I mean, that one's sold, but it's only 3K more. It's not much of a difference. I'm really liking that Rhodes, man. Again, that, that agility and that speed may make him, like, <coughs> somebody that I feel like can just do good. Let's take a look at it. Let, let, let's let's see. Let's see. Worst case scenario, I'll just get I'll just use eighty five Josh Norman, just put him at my number five slot. <laughs> yeah, but that cam is still like a little too slow. Bob Sanders made plays for me, but he just like really small like my goodness I love it Krauss is so good Krauss is so damn good so it's either get like a corner I, w I would like Bob Sanders I would definitely like Bob Sanders but I'm probably gonna have to stay with Cam Because, you know, I can't afford both. I can't get Bob Sanders in a corner. I can't get a corner in Bob Sanders. I mean, I could get a corner in Bob Sanders, but I would need, like, you know, a base elite, you know, like, super, super cheap, you know, corner. Morgan Burnett. I forgot about this card. More speed. More Excel. But not much more speed. Though. Like I, I just want speed. I just want to feel safe. Because if I get matched up against these guys that have these really, really, really fast cards. Like, I just want to feel safe. Like, okay, yeah, you're not burning. You're not, you know what I mean? I can press. You're not going to beat, you know, 90 speed over the top. Eighty six speed. See, I want like maybe I'm just spoiled with Kraus in his ninety speed. Ron Parker got speed on him. Definitely has speed on him. Great zone coverage. See, this is what I'm talking about, man. Like that speed, just really, really, really good speed. He'll be able to uh see, let me move my a little bit. He'll be able to cover a ton of ground. So if he's in a hard flat, if he's in a purple, whatever he's in, he's going to do a good job of getting himself in a position. Because he's got 90 speed and he's he's fast. With a 90 zone. An 89 play rate. <coughs> Parker may be in a move.
67k basically 70 that will leave me with like what 50 some odd k left and I would have to I think I can make it work with a cornerback for that price Oh, finally, that Dawkins collectible sold. And I also get to go on ahead and sell uh, b Dog. And I still have Keekly on the block, I believe, on the auction. So this right here, I just feel more comfortable with just more speed. As good as uh, Chancellor is, he 85 speed at this point in time in Mutt. Going to be tough to do it for me. <coughs> um... So we got Parker there. Again, with really, really, really good speed. 90 speed. He's I see him, you know, definitely going to work. Hopefully you guys are looking forward to some Parker gameplay, man. Okay, if this Keekly sold, man, I can get a really, really good cornerback. You see, and this fruit basket went ahead and cut undercut me by 500 coins <clears throat> Okay, so we'll see if we can sell him. Let's see how much cam is going for He'll go for 18 we'll put him up there for 16 I should be able to get myself a decent corner. And then that's it, man. The team is where I really like it to be. I need a backup running back, but no rush. Nothing, you know, right right now. 87 overall plus. Oh, I had that Erlacher. I'm over here thinking, like, should I get the Erlacher? And I already had him. Let me see that set, man. Can I do the... Uh... The 87 overall upgrades. Do I have five that I can add here? Okay. One, two. I got two. Because I'm not adding in any of these guys because I need them. Okay, can sold. Let's go. Keekly sells, man. We can get ourselves a pretty good corner. I'm excited to see what that Parker does, man. 990 speed, man. I could see him just wrecking havoc. All right, let me take a look. As if Keekly sold. Let me look for something around 140. I mean, he sells. I might as well just go all out and just get Bailey. I'd probably just get Bailey, to be honest with you. But I need this, this Kikli to sell. I don't want to get a 100K cornerback when I can get a Bailey for, you know, 130. I just need to sell. And I don't think I have any other cards to move. Well, this is Urlacher here where you can't even do anything with. I wonder why I didn't. There's nothing I can do with him. I don't know, I guess I'll hold on to him. I got this Weddle. Can't do anything with. We should be able to put these in the Elite Exchange sets. All oh, these bad boys I can cork sell. Let me get my two hundo. Right now, we're just hoping this Keekly sells. We're hoping somebody 
needs a middle linebacker because if that card sells, then we got ourselves a Bailey. And we're looking good. And we went ahead and got ourselves uh, uh, an upgrade. I would like to think so. At quarterback. Offense, everything else is, you know, pretty much the same. On defense, man, we got four new linebackers. We got Clowney, Singletary, Buchanan, and Vaughn. And I'm loving these uh, linebackers. Like, I feel really, really confident in them being able to perform good for me. Parker with a ton of speed. If I could not get a cornerback, I wouldn't. But as soon as I reset my lineup, that's it. Norman's gone. So... Okay, I don't think there's any. I wish I could just put in a filter, like 88 to, 8 to 90 overall, like my own. Like uh, All these low 85s are taking up spots from me seeing, you know, 89 overall cards. Jenkins. You know, I was just thinking about getting that, uh... That um that Xavier Rhodes. That speed and that speed and excel. I wouldn't have to worry about getting beat over the top. Bailey's definitely better, but fifty K more. And I kind of would like to try and get different cards I didn't use. I mean, I try my best to try and get cards that I didn't get on the Lizard Squad. To try it, at least try different cards out. Like DRC, I've never used on Xbox. And, um, you know, Butler and Hayden, I never used either. Because the day I got them, I sold them. You know, players like Wentz and Ron Parker and things like that. I already used, ba yeah, I already used Bailey on the Xbox side. Let's, let's get this Xavier Rhodes. Get that Xavier Rhodes, and then we're going to spend 10K on contracts. So Josh Norman is out of here. And what is I'm going to do is I'm going to put Sherman in the slot. Where I just feel like he's going to be uh, better suited. So this right here is our final outcome, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm really, really, really excited. We didn't go up overall-wise or anything like that, but I feel like we made some, some good moves. We got Wentz. We got Clowney, Vaughn, Singletary, Buchanan, Ron Parker, and Xavier Rhodes. I feel like these are definitely some good good players and now i feel like the next upgrades i feel like my linebackers are good to go for a while i'll probably stay with this team for until next month gauntlet comes out honestly because one you know again there's no way for me to make newer coins uh is there any way i can get the bruiser back what's bruiser back uh chem 2 do tier 2 i mean what does it give Another trucking. So AP could have 94 truck. Yo, is there a way where I can cheaply get two more bruiser back? How can I do that? Shoot, one more truck for AP. Giving him plus two truck. I'm all for it. I'm all for making him being able to truck more. Program, nope, chemistry. Okay, 
Okay. Can I get some cheap options? That's not a running back, obviously, because that's what AP is. I already have a fullback with that, so I would have needed to get like Ayupati over here. I don't have the coins to do so. Dang it, I have Ayupati already starting too, so I'll literally just be swapping, so that would benefit me. And then I already have a base to Marco with that same. I'll need like a Zach Martin or something. And the push rod is just better though. Everywhere. More speed, more winners, more impact block. Pass blocking is way better though. I guess Zach Martin is better. I guess it's better to have, you know, 88 run block to 91 pass blocking and 89 run block to 83. Like he's only minus one run block. But he's plus eight on pass block, so yeah, Zach Martin's better. I can always go with the coach. Yeah, I need a lot of coins in order to make this happen. Like if uh, Kikli sold, I'll be able to get Martin and Ayupati. Just to beef up uh, AP a little bit more. But, eh, not really a big thing. But again, ladies and gentlemen, I feel like the team is really, really, really good. And I know I kind of said I like to get players that um, I haven't used before. Obviously, I try to avoid it. I honestly do. But, you know, Clowney and Von Miller, I know, are really good, really, really, really good options there. That are going to, you know, help me do really well. So, you know, we'll see. It's my first time using Buchanan. You know, McCordy, I haven't used until this team. I haven't used Parker. Uh, make, you know, my defensive line, pretty much. So, yeah, man, that's what the team is looking like. Sorry for the long video, fellas. Hopefully, it wasn't too long. <laughs> but uh, we are at it again with a newer budget squad. Took a while, but Clowney, Von Miller, Singletary. And the reason why I went with these guys, I mean, the outside is just pure. I like to send a lot of pressure. I like to try and make you one-dimensional. And if you run the ball, I feel like Clowney and Von Miller on that outside are going to be extremely difficult to block because they have good speed, good play rate, good acceleration. They get off blocks well. They got good strength. And then Singletary is just a do-it-all middle linebacker. Play rec, zone, uh, block shed, speed. He does everything. Buchanan is just fast. Parker, a lot of speed, cover a lot of ground, jump around for your boy one time. And Xavier Rhodes has 91 speed. And it can be 92 if I max out pick specialist. But I would need two more. So I would probably need like a uniform and a coach if they have a pick specialist coach. I would love to get locked down tier two. Add another man in zone, you know, give him 88 zone and 85 man, you know, kind of beef up his man a little bit. This coverage a little bit, but but anyways, nonetheless, that's the squadron, fellas. I'm gonna try and get you guys gameplay soon. See your boy GS man. Peace.